Hello everyone, today we are uh, uh, talking about the most common condition that is uh, PCOD or PCOS. Nowadays we are getting so many patients talking about the PCOD or uh, PCOS. Uh, many patients come to us asking doctor whether I have PCOD or not, uh, how, what is this, what are the risks and uh, so many girls uh, that is college going girls, uh, high school uh, children also nowadays. So they are asking uh, so many uh, things like you know they are very much panic about their menstrual uh, disturbances and uh, other uh, symptoms. So regarding this PCOD, so PCOD earlier was a polycystic ovarian disease. Nowadays we call it as a polycystic ovarian syndrome because it has got a multiple manifestations, mul uh, different uh, way of manifesting the same disease and uh, different uh, manifestations at a different age group also. So coming to the definition, so PCOD is a common hormonal condition which affects the women of the reproductive age and uh, it uh, is characterized by the irregular periods or the menstrual disturbances and uh, excess uh, androgen levels and uh, um, cysts in the ovary. Okay, so how does, what is the age group? The age group which is commonly affected is the early reproductive age. Though the symptoms start from the adolescent age group only, but the symptoms are more clearly manifested in the early reproductive age, that is after 20 years. Before that also, there can be symptoms which might point towards the PCOS, but the symptoms are more during the 20 years and late 20 years. So what are the symptoms? So coming to the symptoms, they are um, irregular cycles. Uh, it can be a frequent cycles or it can be a delayed cycle. Like, you know, like uh, periods can get delayed for two to three months. And uh, sometimes uh, the female can be getting the cycles very frequently also. Okay. So again, why this frequent cycles? Again, there is a hormonal imbalance. And again, why there is a gap of two to three months? Sometimes some females are getting uh, six months, one cycle. So all these are the varied manifestations of the same problem. So the, so the, so the same condition so uh, again uh, so this these are the menstrual disturbances it even causes the heavy flow during the menses that is menorrhagia so the flow will be very heavy and it will last for longer days so these are the symptoms and it is also very much accompanied with the uh, abnormal hair growth uh, that is uh, because of the excessive androgen secretions in the body so there will be abnormal hair growth that is we call it as a hirsutism uh, so usually it manifests as a abnormal hair growth on the chin, on the cheek and on the upper lip. So uh, like unwanted hair growth uh, distributed in a male pattern. Okay, There is something called hair fall also because of the lower estrogen or the estrogen imbalance because of the excess androgen. So the hair fall also is all the time accompanied with the irregular cycles or it is accompanied with the PCOS. So the scalp hair is markedly decreased or there will be marked hair fall uh, during uh, this uh, condition uh, and of course it is uh uh, because of the excess androgen and there is one more important symptom of uh, PCOS uh, that is uh, because of the excess androgen levels there are cyst, there are uh, acne okay there are acne uh, over the face uh, because of the irregular menstrual uh, uh, problems or because of the abnormal hormonal secretions there are uh, acne uh, all over the face and uh, it might lead to a uh, scarring also okay so what are the causes of the PCOS or the PCOS. Mainly nowadays we are seeing so many cases of PCOS all because of uh, sedentary lifestyle. So uh, uh, like uh, you need to do uh, at least uh, 50 minutes workout or 50 minutes walk every day for five days a week. Sedentary lifestyle usually what happens the same during the sedentary lifestyle the fat accumulates in the body. Uh, you may not be restricted in the diet but then the fat will be uh, you will be consuming the normal calories but because of the inadequate uh, expenditure the uh, fat accumulates in the body and that uh, fat is converted to 
androgen uh, so that uh, excess androgen leads to all these problems that excess uh, even the uh, androgen also gets converted to estrogen again causing the ovarian cysts also in the uh, body so all these uh, uh, hormonal imbalances occur because of the excessive fat the two we are nowadays we are more worried with the abdominal fat that we call it as a central obesity sedentary lifestyle is all the time usually accompanied with the central obesity where the fat is accumulated in the central parts of the body that is most commonly in the tummy so that is a place where the fat usually gets accumulated so that fat is uh, in females gets converted to estrogen and uh, androgens and more commonly it is androgen conversion which leads all to which leads to all this uh, hair fall acne and uh, irregular cycles and also the ovarian cysts in the uh, body okay then again uh, obesity see obesity may not be all the time due to sedentary lifestyle it is also because sometimes it is hereditary also so the obesity where it is genetically inherited that time also uh, these uh, peripheral conversion can happen and leading to again the PCOS condition so what are the symptoms that is one already I told uh, that is irregular cycles uh, and heavy flow once you get the period there might be heavy flow uh, which needs treatment and then only the bleeding stops so such kind of a heavy flow and uh, in the reproductive age uh, uh, again it causes infertility also people um, are finding it very difficult that to people with PCOD they suffer a lot from the infertility they even if they conceive naturally also there are risks of abortions and once they conceive during the pregnancy there are high chances of the female to get the uh, blood pressure in pregnancy or diabetes in pregnancy and uh, in the later age group after 30 or 35 there might be a uh, to earlier onset there are chances of getting early onset diabetes and early onset uh, chronic hypertension also and in the later age like after 50 or 55 there are chances of getting the endometrial can cancer so these are all the varied uh, manifestations of the uh, PCOS I'm not telling that every woman who have got PCOS will get it but there are increased chances of all this getting uh, if they are not treated on time or if the no if there is no intervention and if it grows without any uh, uh, intervention then all these symptoms can occur and all these conditions can come uh, okay so and then uh, coming to the treatment part uh, so how can you reduce this PCOD or is it manageable yes definitely uh, the, the main treatment of this PCOD is because uh, we is, uh, uh, see why it is coming it is because of the sedentary lifestyle and uh, inadequate uh, dietary control so we have to just to modify the lifestyle changes that is like uh, uh, staying active for the whole day regular exercise that is 50 minutes of moderate exercise every day uh, for five days a week and then uh, diet that is coming to the diet uh, uh, so you need to avoid uh, caffeine uh, that is uh, avoid almost like you know coffee it should be avoided and then junk food should be avoided all fried foods have to be avoided and then um, process foods mainly the pro processed foods they contain high sugars so one of the main uh, co uh, condition which exists in PCOS is the hyperinsulinemia so what is hyperinsulinemia the insulin excess uh, because of this uh, inadequate uh, consumption like dietary load or uh, the processed sugars or processed foods they contain high sugars so these have to be controlled by high insulin levels so hyperinsulinemia again reverses you know like like again it causes all the problems in the PCOS condition that that is why I told initially that the, the risk of getting diabetes is uh, high in case of PCOS okay uh, so uh, diet has to be controlled uh, low uh, low calorie foods uh, more on uh, vegetables and fruits again why vegetables and fruits because they contain uh, so much of antioxidants again PCOS is a condition where uh, that condition aggravates because of the stress because of the lot of stress in the body the oxidative condition uh, they uh, cause all the hormonal imbalance which is already existing because of the stress it might increase also so better to have a um, 
good dietary control and reduce lot of stress uh, it's better to do yoga or meditation every day at least 10 minutes meditation which uh, uh, you know like reduces the stress levels in the body it uh, in turn reduces the cortisol levels in turn reduces the obesity or the weight and maintaining a healthy weight throughout is uh, very much important because uh, the uh, weight also uh, causes a lot of uh, pro hormonal imbalances uh, so pc in pcos control if the weight is maintained properly definitely the symptoms which are there can also be uh, come which also comes under control okay then uh, we have this new thing coming on that is role of pre and probiotic so the gut flora that also plays an important role in the um, PCOS condition again regular consumption of yogurt curd they uh, cause a very good uh, immune system in the gut it will not cause you it will not cause us the excess hunger which usually we see in the PCOS those people they have this more uh, cravings for sweet and uh, they, they tend to eat so much so all these satiety center will be regulated by having a very good gut flora so regular consumption of the probiotics that is carrots and buttermilk definitely will improve the condition so this is uh, in very brief I have uh, spoken about the PCOS if you have any doubt you can please ask me in the comment section definitely I will be feeling very happy to answer all your questions. Thank you.